Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty Trudor. welcome back to Rome Total War Remastered. Well, last time, the grand campaign was finally complete. Italy has fallen to us. Okay, there's a tiny bit up here that still belongs to the Gauls, but we're cool with the Gauls, that's okay. The important thing is, Rome is gone forever. In fact, they're not just gone, they're basically working for us now. I've pretty much just uh, hired the Senate. So, the Senate just works for me. That's just absolutely marvellous. Just, you know, a bit of humiliation on the end there. But, 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 we're, um, we're not done. Obviously, there's a bit too much of the map over here. That's looking a bit too orange. A bit too much of the map over here. That's looking a bit too blue. It's time for us to go home. Meaning at long last, the armies of Atta and Dromikites might finally reunite in a wonderful pincer movement against Scythia. But, 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 I need to figure out where their armies are. So right now, I'm training spies everywhere. We're just spamming spies, sending them north. We need to figure out where the Scythian armies are because they are a pretty darn major threat, all things considered. Enough, you know, horse archers, that's never going to be easy. As well as, yeah, figuring out what we're going to leave in Italy. Most of Italy's pretty secure, of course, but we need to leave a garrison in Patavium to make sure the Germans don't get any stupid ideas, and just in case the Gauls, or indeed the Spanish, ever try anything. Because, yeah, just sending my boats around the corner, Spain has just taken over large parts of modern France. They are doing so damn well this game. You know, that does make me think. My faction leader is old. Like, so old right now. Well, 60. But in the ancient world, that's pretty bloody old, so he's good, but it's time to move his, uh, yeah, retinue elsewhere. So, who really deserves uh, to be our next leader? Alright, right now, it's going to be Dromikites, who has been waging war against the Thracians. So, uh, decent influence, good enough command, natural born leader, loyal night fighter, minor trusty victor. Honestly, nothing too exciting there. Oh, but Atta, over here, superior commander, been in the wars, a famous victor, butcher, bloody, yeah. I'm so sorry, Dromikites, we're moving this over to Atta. Dromikites admittedly a little bit annoyed about that because he was disinherited, but what can you do? So, migrate the retinue over, mag flippin' nificent, that'll be done in no time whatsoever because, yeah, they're literally right next to each other, just one city over. So, you know, just send over a civilised slave on a horse just in case the faction leader dies soon. And one other thing is needs doing too. We have now got, yeah, the fleet here, which should now have pretty much uncontested control of the seas. And we've also got, hang on, hang on, buddy. Yes, the completely useless Dorus. So, I would say, how about you, buddy, head out onto the seas. We'll just uh, transfer some extra troops over towards you, lovely. And we try and find you some lovely, lovely mercenaries to hire. Because I suspect, yes, now we've got a bit more of a relaxed control of the sea, there are all sorts of sex units that must have regenerated by now. Okay, a whole bunch of units just need a bit of retraining in the form of, yeah, giving them better armour. So, okay, let's leave everyone where they are for the time being. Though, to be honest, you could probably step out of your uh, city at the moment. So, okay. Bring all the good stuff, please. Bring all the good stuff. Honestly, Contiso, the great man who took us on the, you know, wonderful expedition all the way to Greece, who hired the mercs who won us this war, he deserves to just hang out in Rome by himself. I feel like, you know, he's got himself a well-deserved retirement there. So, everybody retraining or ready to go? Yeah, we can put together the ultimate mega army next turn. Let's see what uh, Thrace are doing in the meantime. And also next turn... We're going to start getting our spies on the move, because I have got so many spies being trained right now. Oh, hang on, that was the Greek cities doing some good work against uh, Thrace right there. They've been very passive in that war, but I think they're finally starting to wake up. Love it. And Scythia coming into a quincum. Whether we've actually got time to hold that or not, I do not know. We might have to lose that, but... If we do, that is going to be the last thing we lose, all right? No more than that. And Thrace comes back in as well to Segestica. It'll take them a little bit of time to build up what they want there. We should, hopefully, be able to stop that, at least. And bloody cocking hell. Um, so, I think that's the entire Julii fleet that has now pulled together 
into one ludicrous mega force. So, okay, you know I was saying just a second ago, oh yes, we've now got uncontested control of the sea. No, I've accidentally created the ultimate pirate fleet. Um, really hope I win this, by the way. Oh, thank flipping goodness. Right, and because it's pirates, they just all, uh, sink. So, okay. That there, that's the pirates taken care of. That was the Julius last, uh, stab from beyond the grave. Didn't work out for them, which is marvellous. And, uh, this fleet is, uh, is it still strong enough to potentially crack on? Oh, yeah, that's fine. That'll still do. So, first things first, just nip down to, uh, Syracuse over here. Got ourselves, yeah, mercenary hoplites and uh, mercenary peltas. I'll take both, just because uh, why not? Though, to be honest, the uh, the peltas will probably get rid of down the line. Not exactly uh, the biggest, most important thing in the world. Right, back on the boat and then just keep on sailing. We're heading over to Africa because they've got all sorts of mercs over there. And Carthage hopefully won't backstab me because they're too busy with this very bitter war against Numidia. Okay, deploy the spies. One north into German territory. I want to know what's uh, going on over here. One over towards... Uh, it could just be right here. Or we could just keep an eye on... Uh, yeah, this pass and whatnot. Maybe bring the boats around a little bit. Yeah, just bring the boats back home in case they're needed for whatever. For the time being, yeah, this spy can just go around here. If Spain decides to start moving in this direction in numbers, uh, we'll see him coming. I don't think Gaul are going to be able to muster much, however. Still, thanks to the nearby spy, we can see these guys and, uh, overwhelmingly, Falksman. Which is pretty good news, actually. By the way, deploy the assassin in this sort of a direction. Excuse me. Can't help but notice there's a German assassin just sort of uh, floating around uh, nearby. No. No, no, no. So we're just going to be deleting him. And also, you finally got up to level 5. Took you bloody long enough. So, uh, yes, expert assassin. Uh, talent for assassination. Okay, good. He was level 4 for bloody ages. So, uh, at this point, hopefully, uh, yes, you might be able to do a much better job around here. So, 30% uh, on one general. Uh, there we go. Over 50% on the other. So, next turn, he can annihilate these guys. Uh, what have I got... Uh, in here, by the way. Oh, nothing. Okay. So, we're going to be needing that army soon. Like, really soon, actually. Okay, deploy Skiles to Patavium. He can just guard that. That's all absolutely fine. So, yes, you can just live there, buddy. No trouble. Who's actually there at the moment, by the way? Um, oh, someone who's complete garbage. Got it. Okay, well, you can just come down to Eretium. That's no problem whatsoever. We'll just uh, have you take care of that. But here's the big one. We need to put together the ultimate mega army. So, okay. Atta is going to be leading said army. No new mercenaries available. That's all absolutely fine. So, what do we need to give him so he can do his job effectively? One, he's going to be needing some cavalry. So, for that, he's going to take the Senate with him. The Senate is going to become Atta's personal honour guard, just travelling around with him, murdering anything that gets in the way. Alright, these people are not leaders anymore, they are just glorified bodyguards. He is, in addition, going to be needing a solid front line. So, for that, we're going to be needing to send hoplites with him. So, okay. He's got himself some hoplites right there. How many more hoplites could we, uh, could we spare? There's a good... Uh, i tell you what. How about we send him uh, three more? Five hoplites as a front line is uh, not bad. Not bad at all. So you just go over here. That's all absolutely fine. So uh, this is going to be a nicely arranged army. By the way, then again, four is probably enough. Let's start him off with four. We'll see how it looks over time. Because that's seven units already. Now, uh, where are the Scythians, by the way? Because... Uh, even though they're a bit damaged, these guys have been with me from the beginning. Obviously, they're going along too. Alright, the Scythians are going back home. And what have we got in terms of Cretans? Because Cretans are really damn nice. So, okay. There's two full strength units there. Obviously, we're going to be sending them in. There is also, however, one damaged unit. And there's Rhodian Slingers times two. But there's also a damaged unit over here. 
put those two together, you've actually got something pretty decent. So uh, send the Rodians, uh, maybe leave the damaged Rodians uh, back over here. All right, that's still pretty damn good. Honestly, merge those two together, then you've got a 92. Should they maybe stay here and assist with any problems that might emerge locally? Because I don't leave these guys with absolutely nothing. All right, that would be that would be bad. So yeah, you know what? You guys, as you're only half strength now, stay with that lad and just keep him company. Ah, there's Balearic Slingers here as well. Okay, you can join as well. You're pretty damn good. Six slots remain. i tell you what, there's some good Sam Knights right here. You can join the army. Five slots remain. I wouldn't mind some Illyrians, you know. The Illyrians have just served me so well over the course of this campaign. They've just done magnificently. Then again, Sarmatians. These Sarmatians must have come from up north. It's fair they go back up north. They're going home too. Okay, got room for another mercenary hoplite, as it turns out. So, what else do we have here? That is one set of Illyrians at full strength. Then we have got ourselves... Uh, you guys are Illyrians. Your Rodian Slingers at 112. You can actually head in that direction. That's up to 19. That's not looking too bad. Yeah, sadly you can't uh, rearrange on this screen. But still, it mostly makes a fair whack of sense. Yeah, go on. We'll have more firepower because firepower is going to be useful against the uh, the Scythians. So send in additional slingers and... Hang on. Were you... I thought you still had an empty slot. Okay, you didn't have an empty slot. No matter. You just sort of uh, stay over here and hang out in this city. That's fine. So there we go. That there, after all of this, is going to be the ultimate mega army. Ludicrous heavy cavalry on the flanks. A beautiful massive long phalanx on the front line. Protecting a ludicrous number of Cretans, Rhodians, the best mercenary ranged troops in the entire bloody game. Now, how are we going to get them there nice and fast? Because, to be honest, I should have sent the fleet up here. That would have been really useful. In fact, you know what? You can come back over in this direction. It's going to be faster to just train up a brand new boat over here than it's actually going to be to, you know, walk you all the way round. Though I'm a bit worried about Segestica. I think we're going to have to take that back. We can't stop them taking it. Ah, one bit of fight back we can do at least. My massive ludicrous uh, infantry army with Dromikites over here. That can at least walk into a, a poorly defended Thracian city. And on this occasion, they may have wars, they may have defenders, but I've literally got more siege equipment than they've got people to defend the city. So, uh, okay. Which walls are they actually bothering to uh, try and guard? Okay, some Peltas over there. So I would say... Uh, Let's just send a handful of ladders over in this direction. And if they try and react to that, then we'll just send other ladders over to here. I don't really care if they try and react, because if they do, I'll just hit the other side. They can't cover everything, not at once. In fact, to be honest, you guys stop, because you're Basterni and you're really expensive. So how about we send in some trash to do that part of the business, at least? Because, yeah, these lads will take a bit of a knackering, so... As we're just going to be, you know, sending in trash, let's send in real flipping trash, all right? In come the barbarian mercenaries. Uh, are they going to try and respond to that, or are they going to just, you know, halt here because they see the towers? I don't know, but yeah, the trash is taking a few knocks, but I really don't care because, you know what, that's what the trash is for. Any reaction? Uh, not yet. On this occasion, yeah, there's too many defenders. Uh, let's just start taking a handful of uh, walls, uh, etc. So you guys just get over here. If you're lucky, we can just, yeah, take over some of these towers immediately. That way I can send you reinforcements without it being too much of a uh, a problem. And as soon as you're engaged, there we go, they're moving. Sending the Thracians on this side. This should be a good angle to avoid any fire whatsoever. Yeah, this wall, not a great wall. This one, much better. Now the Peltas will be a bit on the, uh, yeah, difficult side. And actually, you know what? This here, this is a good angle, even though I might take a little bit of a knock from the actual uh, gateway because I'll be able to spit at these guys uh, from my tower. So yeah, Fire at Will's already on. You guys are moving in. You can't run, unfortunately, with ladders. I think you could in Medieval 2, but not in Rome 1. So, okay, there'll be some light knocks, but for the most part, this should be a-okay. These guys are 
eager for the time being. And if these guys, like, stop and just toss javelins, uh, that might really hurt. If they actually try and fight hand-to-hand, -hand, uh, in comes my fire, by the way, uh, then we should do uh, just fine. In fact, yep, there we go. They're now losing troops a bit faster. And yeah, here we go. They've turned their attention to, yes, tossing at the... Uh, Basterni, who will not take as much damage as you'd expect because they do have a spare hit point. So the first hit counts for nothing. They can just walk it off. So if we're lucky, then, well, unfortunately, they're going to keep tossing. So guys, uh, please, like, try and distract these guys because, uh, yeah, sooner or later, this is going to start hurting. Yes, only 158. Yeah, get in the tower nice and fast, please. Nice and fast. How are the ladders doing? You guys are now rising. So far, we've taken minimal casualties, or to be precise, minimal casualties I care about because uh, dying's kind of what barbarian mercs are for. And yes, now they're turning their fire onto the mercs. And that there, that's a-okay. And look at that. They waver so fast. They're just bloody useless, these bastards. But they've done their job, but they've taken some towers and they've bought time for better units to get onto the walls. Right, Thracians are now coming up. Get behind them. Basterni, having taken minimal losses, are now safely hidden inside the tower. So even if you break now, that's fine. In fact, you're back to Shaken, which is, I mean, well done. You're doing better than I thought you would. Anyway, another tower goes down as soon as, yeah, the actual gateway falls to me officially. I'm sending my actual, uh, yeah, leaders in just to provide a bit of bonus, uh, you know, morale to everyone around. So we're going to take these. Yep, we've got them. And the Thracians are not messing about. These guys are now surrounded and Thrace are just kind of shoving them and oh, now they're being pincered. Oh, they're not going to like that. They're probably going to start falling to their deaths here. Oh, there we go. Dramatic falling. They're literally being squeezed. And as a result, they've got nowhere to go but down. And I love it. In fact, you know what? I am impressed. You guys deserve a medal because you held way longer than I was expecting in the face of, you know, naked men with leopard print thongs on. Okay, with the new and improved range of the Illyrians, let's see if maybe... Yes, the general just seems to be doing a few laps at the moment, maybe when he's heading over here, we might be able to lure him over a bit. Because, yeah, if we're lucky, come on. Just step over to this side of the plaza, take a few javelins, uh, straight into the chaff with some nice hard spears behind them, because, uh, yeah, just some chaff up front to blunt the charge, uh, not a bad idea. Okay, he's refusing to move close enough to me, so I'm just going to use these 12 Sarmatians to try and uh, bait them, uh, a little bit towards me. Because the moment I enter the plaza, they're going to get really annoyed that I'm on the plaza. So, there we go. How about you guys uh, just come over here and uh, say hello and to walk straight into a giant pile of javelins. There we go. Just uh, come over here. Come over here and say hello to Mr. Javelin. So just keep them moving nice and slow. Nice and slow. Stay close enough. They think they've still got a shot. Here we go. That's nice. That's nice right there. And anybody got a shot, actually? Just don't go too far. Don't go too far. And uh, this should be it. This should be it. The cavalry's now on the way. And if we're very fortunate, yeah, in come a whole bunch of javelins. And what did I just say about not actually engaging? You are the bait, not the bloody anvil. So, yeah, in come a whole bunch of... Uh, javelins. Uh, these idiots just blood the charge, uh, but what's more important is, uh, as they start pushing through, they are going to uh, slowly start, uh, yeah, pulling these guys uh, right into uh, the spears, which is great. And actually, you know what? We've almost got him. Wow! He was right up front. Well done, lads. I was kind of expecting you just to be chaffed, but you've actually just sort of, um, you know, won. So, well done, to be honest. Good work. Still, the Phalanx Pikemen are coming in. They're actually kind of uh, wavering right now. So, uh, screw it. Send my own infantry forward. Because apparently we're just going to beat vastly superior units right there. Pikemen should beat Hoplites just because of the length of spears. But, uh, okay, we've just, um, we've just won. I mean, I shan't say no. Well done, lads. That was pretty smooth. So, one more city goes down. Gets exterminated. Gives us access to... Oh, hello. Reinforcements, you say? Just chilling out all by themselves right here? Well, I don't mind if I flipping do. Especially as we do have more troops that are just coming in too, so... Uh, oh, guys, guys. Oh, my goodness, an onager. 
Right artillery, together with no cavalry. Oh, you guys have made such a flipping mistake. Okay, everybody else stay nice and far back for the time being. The cavalry's going in first to assassinate the Onager. Probably should be approaching from the other side, to be honest. The hill would provide, you know, good cover. But that should be a-okay. Just uh, run around here fast as you can. They're going to struggle because, yes, when these units try and reposition to face the cavalry, they're going to insist these guys reposition as well, and artillery are slow to reposition. So I'm not sure they're even going to get a shot off because they're just going to be so determined to turn and face me properly. So you guys should probably just uh, keep moving forward, by the way. Just everybody move forward as fast as you can. Thank you. And yeah, the only thing uh, guarding the actual artillery appears to be... Uh, Falksman. So that there, that's not going to be a problem. They can't really take a charge particularly effectively. So if they want to give it a go, honestly, just hit them once. It's fine. That should do some good work right over there. They're going to take a huge amount of damage immediately. There we go and immediately break. So now just probably back off enemy general. That was actually the uh, the captain as well. So, well done to that lad. Let's just make sure uh, he's uh, finished off. There we go. He goes down. No, not that way. Not, not that way, guys. That was the one way to not go. Please focus instead. Okay, onagers have now been collapsed. Back off, back off, back off, please. Everybody just get away from there. All right, we can pick him off later. He's definitely not uh, by the artillery anymore. Meanwhile, they've sent one unit uh, forward, so that's fine. Just start looping around to maybe hit him, but honestly, he's about to be hit by literally all the javelins in the world. Uh, send some Basterno around the side just in case, and we can just escape. Nice and flipping easy at this point. What are they going to be able to do now? Well, they're going to try and get back on their artillery is what they're going to try and do. But no, that is not allowed. Not flipping allowed. Right, you guys have broken straight away. You guys just basically keep pushing forward. We've kind of left the uh, the phalanxes behind, but I don't really care. So it's uh, a-okay. These guys are now desperately trying to get back into position over here. But yeah, at this point, they are just surrounded. They're done. And one more charge just to get rid of the onagers for good on this occasion. They try and defend them, but yeah, they've got too much to defend. They just can't hold against this many units. And these guys are already yeah, shaken, wavering, not happy about life in general. Just make sure these guys don't reform, or if they do, they're going to be nice and far away. Start bringing the uh, infantry around the outside, by the way, just for safety. But we should at this point be... A-okay. They can't do a thing to me. Right. They're starting to isolate themselves. Just basically hit them from every angle simultaneously. Bastani coming in. And you guys are going to be... Yep, you're broken. You guys back off for a second. I don't have a great surround on you. You've broken straight away. You guys get ready to move in in just a moment. And that is going to be the win. Love it. Oh yeah, nine survivors. I'll take that, a thousand dead Thracians. Everybody loves that. Right, send the useless mercenary Peltas back to uh, Bylazora, and then obviously burn down the infrastructure in case they take it back. They may, however, keep this uh, temple because, yeah, 30% happiness is a good solid amount. And of course, just train more spies because why wouldn't we know what was going on around the world? It's always nice to know. Still, Greeks have taken Larissa. Sorry, I missed that because this guy's flag was in the way. So, yeah, they've taken Larissa. Thessalonica can't be too far away from being taken. Massive army here is chasing off all of uh, these lovely laddies. That's a good army, by the way. Proper hoplites, armoured hoplites, ludicrous defence on these guys. Very tough to deal with. Auto-resolve tends to uh, favour them a lot. So, yeah, Thrace is now on the run. All we've got to do, really, is uh, shatter their main army around Segestica and... Uh, they might take back Byzantium, but I've kind of already burnt most of it to the ground, so I'm not really sure they're going to get much out of it. Okay, I'm not entirely enjoying the fact the Greeks have just cancelled our alliance. That's, um, modestly concerning, actually. Oh, bloody hell, I think they just declared war. I think I might have just seen them immediately put a city under siege, so... Okay, um... At the bare minimum, they are still at war with Thrace as well. So uh, their attention is going to be divided a bit. They've given up the Siege of Segestica for no well-explained reason. 
Possibly because, yes, they're suffering so badly elsewhere. They just desperately need the troops uh, somewhere else. Oh, and it's... It's a sad day in multiple ways. Uh, Skiles uh, has died. Bless you, you magnificent bastard. You did so well. Uh, meaning Atta is now our new faction leader. So, yeah. We got all the uh, retinue off Skiles in just the nick of time. Right, get the boats over to here. Get you into boat. Get you over here. So this army is now in position. Not a bad position either. There's some Illyrians. In fact, those Illyrians are... Yeah, as good as the ones I've got in my army at the moment. In fact, marvellous. So, okay. That's all absolutely fine. And we've also got suitable husband. No, he's completely worthless. So maybe don't bother with that. Okay, this here slightly changes the uh, arithmetic of the local area. So, Dromikites, with his massive infantry army, honestly wasn't going to be able to do too much to the Scythians anyway. So, you just keep on heading over here. Where is their main army? I mean, they've got a pretty major army over here. I just don't know whether that is, like, you know, uh, the biggest thing they've got or not. And you weren't going to do very well there anyway. The better option might be, instead, if Greece wants to go, you might be better off taking on them, using hard-hitting but light infantry to just skirt around the edge of them, do what you can do. That is not necessarily a bad idea, you know what, screw it. Right, Dromikites, your job is to now hold over here against the bloody Greeks, because apparently they want to be decks. Which leaves the army of Atta still free to head back into Scythia. Because I feel like that's got to be a priority, alright? The Scythians have just humiliated us. We need to put things to rights here. Oh yeah, obviously. After 10 million years of doing absolutely cocking nothing to bloody Thrace, they're now sending giant armies at me immediately. If there was one problem with Rome 1, and there weren't many, it was really good. Aside from the jank, but the jank was part of the charm. It was that, uh, yes, the AI did just kind of say, Oh, look, that's the player over there. We better go get him. Even if, you know, there are much better targets for us to go and get. And here comes the main Scythian force. We've lost to them before, and we're gonna lose to them again. But the bare minimum, yeah, if I've got heavy cav and a plaza, I can hurt them while they're trying to come in. Here we go, you useless bastard. Let's have a nice dramatic final last stand while we're being fired upon on the plaza, diddly diddly dee. Bare minimum, we should be able to do some good work to like, you know, one unit or another. Just, you know, keep pushing, keep taking them out. Good work here. Support these guys while they're just tossing in. Between the two of you, you should be able to get, you know, a lot of horse archer kills. And that's pretty bloody important. So, yeah, we've uh, crippled at least uh, one unit already. Just uh, keep going for all of this. Just do what you can. Take them all out. Choppy, choppy, chop. Everything's all 100% a-okay. -okay. I say that. You guys should probably go over to just hand-to-hand uh, -hand at this point. Just uh, do what you can. Start stabbing, please. Start stabbing. You've died dramatically. Well done. Uh, and now we can just start. Okay, I think we've taken out like almost two full units of horse archers. That's not bad, you know. That'll do. There we go. Good solid number of, yeah, casualties inflicted there on valuable horse archers as well. Aha! There's the massive ass army. Okay, we have located the biggest army of the Scythians right there. Thrace is coming into Byzantium. Kind of don't care. I've already burnt it to the ground, taken out all of its infrastructure. Doesn't really matter. And we've just managed to pick up some new Cretan archers right here, up to 17 out of 20. And put down a convenient watchtower right here. So don't worry about Thessalonica in the slightest. And we can't hold Apollonia, obviously. So, oh, bloody hell, that's a lot of, um, it's a lot of units, actually. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be, that's all gonna be fun. Okay, you just continue the mercenary hunting trip. I mean, it's not like you can really do much else. So just crack on with that, please. Also, I think we might want to, uh, yes, yeah, start reinvesting in more and more and more boats. Because possibly the single most important thing is none of these Greek armies make it on to the southern coast of Italy. Because if they hit Magna Graecia, we're in a fair whack of trouble, actually. Okay, I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm going to offer the Greeks a bit of bait. Which is I'm going to pass by them on the way to Salona. The reason is, if they come and attack me here, what we've got is forest. 
mountains. All sorts of useful stuff that give me the high ground. So, I would say, on balance, that's going to be useful to me. Also, mercenary peltas. What have I got right now? Wouldn't mind some more hoplites. That's definitely true. Can't have anything else, though. Not for the time being. So, anything we need to get rid of. Honestly, you're kind of... Not very useful, because there's six of you. So, okay, we're going to replace you with a full-strength unit, even though it's an inferior unit. There we go, much better. Will be useful on the uh, the hills as well. So, uh, we'll see if they take the bait. If not, we'll retreat to Salona. Honestly, they can have Apollonia, though we are having some trouble with uh, pirates as well. I'll admit, that's, uh, that's being a bit of an issue. So, I'm just putting together a mega fleet over here. Then we just need to make sure we uh, shut down the Greek navies. Ah, but down over here, very excitingly. Okay, what have you got for me? You have got, yeah, look at that. So many mercs. Sadly, no elephants. I thought that, uh, yeah, around here, Lepkis Magna was a site that could theoretically spawn elephants, but at the bare minimum, it spawns a lot of other stuff. I'm just hiring all of this. All right, just get all of that in play, then straight back on the boat, and now we're going over to, uh, yeah, Cadonia. All right, screw reinforcements. A better option would be a backstab. Okay, let's see if I can maybe make up for the, uh, yeah, loss of uh, poor old Greece as an ally by simply buying Spain's favour. And... Okay... They're not keen about that. Okay, how about we forget the military access and I just give you the money so you don't get upset about that. Now that's more flipping like it. Yes, good, 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 good. We're now allied with Spain because unfortunately, Gaul decided to uh, ally with, uh, you know, Thrace. And we don't like Thrace. So that worries me a little bit. And to be honest, I feel like Gaul ain't going to be around too much longer. So how about we take advantage of this situation right here and just kick Gaul out of this whole area. Because Gaul, I'm not convinced they're ever going to be my friend, actually. This all seems like pretty much trash, to be honest. There's some good bull warriors uh, standing nearby. I mean, we could just basically go in and attack with everything we've got. So we've got a good force here. Rather than just, you know, sharing a border with these bastards, share a border with Spain, who seem to be, you know, busy up here instead. Yeah, everyone into position. We are moving in momentarily. We're just going to wipe Gaul off this part of the map and finish up, uh, yeah, all of Italy. And if Spain want to help me out, to all the better. Okay, Greece are coming in. Um, not sure we're going to be able to do much to any of that. So how about we just say, yeah, that's, um, that's fine. I wasn't expecting to do much to them. Oh, and this is interesting. Scythia attacking Bylazora, which is honestly kind of okay. I wouldn't mind Scythia being close by to the Greek cities. It might keep them nice and distracted. And as for Thrace, they're coming into Byzantium, though... Interesting. I doubt I can hold them, but I can do some good damage. Though they also seem to have, uh, yes, brought an onager, which they're exclusively using to set fire to my town for no reason other than to be dicks. Which is, you know, a bit on the mean side. Yep, here we go. They're literally just, um... Demolishing my city, even though they're currently taking it over and would like to run it momentarily. And I'm pretty sure they also hit one of their own units at one point. I mean, all I've really got to do is take out, uh, yeah, their infantry. That's it. So, okay, Falks are only going to take one hell of a battering right over here. They're already wavering. And I'm about to send uh, Bastani right into them because these guys never have particularly good morale. So, no, no, no. You don't get on my Illyrians, actually. There we go. You've already, uh, you've already broken. Then there's these lads over here. That's a bit more of a concern. The fact there's, uh, yeah, double, uh, double phalanxes. So, okay, that's all fine. You guys just, uh, fall back, uh, too. Lovely. Just start, uh, pelting all of this lot. Defeating two phalanxes with the advantage that I cannot break. Interesting. Not sure how viable that is, but we'll give it a go. Bare minimum. They are exhausted. So if we could just break the actual, uh, yeah, the leader with nearby breaking Falksman, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Plus, don't forget, Illyrians can fight. In fact, they're pretty damn solid as melee units. 
So, uh, just get a good surround off after doing some damage uh, when they're already exhausted. Uh, we might have uh, something we can do. Guys, seriously, just please give up. Okay, fall back. This is my plaza. I can play for time. Uh, right now, yeah, these guys are exhausted. I'm not. I can just start surrounding them. Everything's going to be fine. The deeper they are in the plaza, the better. Just I'd rather have them separate out into two separate units, if at all possible. Right, send the Thracians over to the general over here. Then hit you guys in the side. You've just... You've just broken for no well-explained reason. I'm not sure 100% why, but you have. How are you guys feeling, by the way? Wavering. I mean, we've got their infantry, which suggests... Okay, the enemy general's routing. Now we just mop him up, which means uh, all that's actually left is the onagers, who are just sitting there, burning down the town. Okay, in which case, I guess the best option is... Uh, yeah, send um the actual... Nope, never mind, they're retreating. Good, they've decided they've lost. Well done. Okay, wasn't really expecting to win that one, but there we flipping go. Marvellous. In fact, they only got 26 kills. Amazing, I'm so much better at this game than I thought. Okay, and the Greeks didn't take the bait, but they are starting to split up their forces. So, uh, don't worry about Apollonia. Alright, seriously, don't even have a think about that. Instead, just... all Croton's not, uh, not happy either. Okay, I have got fresh people coming in to Croton right now. You guys just chill out for a minute, alright? I have got the fleet from, yeah, this side of the Mediterranean coming round to uh, reinforce and just uh, help out as best you flipping can. And, okay, seriously, there's more bloody pirates. They need to go down. They need to go down and there should be more than enough troops to make it happen. There we go. Sunk that pirate fleet. Now, we just send you guys uh, round over here. No port in Apollonia. So, we just need to, yeah, take out anything that causes too much trouble over here. And if we can control the sea and just close off all their ports, that's going to be a lot of their money just gone. So, okay, everybody just start going in this direction. We're going to try and starve them out. If they run out of money, they're going to start breaking down troops. That's the best bet we got. Meanwhile, bring the assassin down south. They've got plenty of leaders around here. We might be able to, yeah, get some kills in in this part of the world. Still, I feel like Salona with, yeah, these troops and this army, that should be... Pretty secure because, yeah, we got plenty of range and some cavalry, not too much. And uh, Dromikites is back to being faction now, so that's nice too. So, okay, we control the sea, we hold Salona, and we let Scythia keep by Lazora. Because then, at that point, yeah, what are the Greeks going to do? They're going to attack Thessalonica, they're going to be bordering Scythia, they're going to have, well, they're going to have me over there, but uh, okay, we'll deal with that bridge when we come to it. More importantly, the Mega Army has made its way back to Aquincum. So, oh boys, it's time for some revenge. And yeah, you know what? Screw the Gauls, let's just go and take ourselves a new town over here. So, neutral faction, screw you, you stupid losers. Uh, we'll just be uh, driving you backwards. Uh, are you officially, you're officially on the edge of this town. Good, 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 good. You guys just stay here. You can help me take the town tomorrow. And yes, as my spies keep spreading, there is a tiny bit of Gaul right here. Britain appears to be doing remarkably well, looking at the, uh, yeah, colours of the borders uh, right over there. They definitely own, uh, yeah, they've got to be owning all of that. So Britain just spreading south, Spain heading north and also vaguely spreading in this direction. So, uh, okay, Britain versus Spain, that'd do as a bit of a conflict I could get behind. Ooh, and Britain wants an alliance too. I mean, to be honest, yeah, sure, that's fine. You can have the money, I don't care. Oh yeah, our new sexy faction leader Atta, together with the Senate, together with all of our best units, it's time. Alright, Scythia have taken their last city. Aside from Bailazora, which I might just let them have, because it might be, you know, politically convenient to do so. Oh yeah, now this is the stuff. My Cretans are in range to begin attacking from literally the moment the fight begins. They can actually reach from the starting area to the troops trying to guard the front gate. And they are annihilating lightly armoured axemen. Oh, I love it. Okay, so um, I'd say it's safe to say that uh, a lot of people are dead. There's just a handful of tired leftover remnants. So... I think we know who's best suited to sorting that out. It's going to be me and the Senate. 
okay? Me and the Senate are just going to go in and we're just going to mop up by ourselves because what the flip is left at this point? They're actual, uh, yeah, they've got a captain, not a commander. So it's just basic uh, light horse archers. There's a lot of damage as has been done already. So everybody just get inside, please. The Senate will now basically travel around the world murdering Scythia because screw Scythia. Here we go, the Senate Horde moving in at unit number one right over there. Plenty of units are actually running out of ammunition right now, so these guys can take, you know, the odd light knock. That's all absolutely fine. Just get in on them. They are going to go down. No trouble. No trouble whatsoever. Straight to Shaken right there. Wavering. Oh dear. Oh flipping dear. Oh no, you weren't expecting me to bring the entire cocking senate, were you? No, but the senate are actually pretty bloody badass as it turns out. Dear oh flippin' dear. Right, get over here, ignore those bastards, get on these lads, alright? Get me the captain. Oh, I see. You don't like it when it's happening to you. Got it, it's only fun when you're doing it to me. Well, screw you, you stupid losers. And yeah, as I was expecting, this is a really good army composition because the number of casualties it takes is pretty darn small. And the first casualties get healed off automatically. So a whole bunch of damage, in fact, doesn't exist. And as for General's bodyguards, they just regrow automatically. So yeah, sending in the Senate to mop up, very, very good move. Right, leave one damaged delirium behind just to mind our new settlement and then... Oh, the rampage continues. Oh, and hello, Saxy. We're back in friendly territory where all of a sudden... Oh my. Some fresh Sarmatians, you say? Okay, 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 okay. One of you lads, just step outside for a second. Buy absolutely all of this. Okay, I want every single one of these on my side. Because they will make good backup. Though, I tell you what. We'll leave a handful of it behind over here, just to make sure it's at least a bit guarded. Alright, lovely. And as for Greece, they're coming in too, but... Yeah, their weakness is, it's a giant mass of infantry. So, the best bet we've got is just fall back to Salona and then just sally, sally, sally. Alright, my Cretans, my Illyrians, they will just slowly but surely take this force apart. Honestly... The Greeks can never break this, because I will just go out, sally, use up my ammunition, nip inside over and over again, forever. They're just not getting in. Ah, uh, yeah, some Bylazora. Now this is... hang on. Did this place have walls? I think it might have had walls, right? Because... Okay, this is... this is interesting. Because if I can just defeat their infantry, then technically, I actually win. So... This could be fascinating. I mean, congrats, you've brought a giant pile of, you know, cavalry and hounds, but... Alright. Chosen Archer Warband. Uh, basic Axeman, Basic Axeman. The Axeman could be a bit of a problem, but... There are towers here. Not as many towers as I'd like, to be honest, but... Chosen Archer, how good are you guys in a melee? I can't tell right now, I can turn on the info cards once the battle begins. Axemen are going to take, uh, yeah, a bit of a pelting right over here. These guys are going to go over, presumably, to here. If I just move my troops around the corner to here, just keep them slightly out the way. And as for you guys, you guys might want to... Well, you're not going to do so well on the walls, are you? No, no, you're not. I mean, you could be right here, just for the sake of holding the gateways. And again, something needs to be on the plaza. If someone's not on the plaza, then we lose if they break, so... I don't know if we can win this one, but I'm gonna give it a damn go. So, alright, let's see what we got here, and uh-oh. You're going not where I was expecting, actually. Okay, so you guys come more over here, towards the centre. That means that you guys can intercept them as they come in. In the towers will, if we're lucky, yeah, burn down this here uh, beautiful ram. That'd be nice. So you guys, uh, right here, please. Also, I think they want to patch the game. So yeah, traveling through gateways is no longer the ridiculous slow one-on-one -on -one grind it used to be, which would be rather exciting if that was the case, wouldn't it? Uh, so okay, these guys are just going over 
way over here, which is fine, I guess. You guys, yeah, just uh, pelt the Axemen as best you can. You guys uh, handle this. I mean, that's a big improvement if now units can pass through these doors at reasonable speed. That's kind of cool. So, okay, in comes the fire. Pure luck right now if the ram catches fire or not. And there we go, straight away, no ram. Okay, so they're not getting through the gates. Instead, we're going to start pelting the chosen archer warband. These guys, in terms of melee, 13! Oh, bloody cocking hell, and defense of 13 too. Right, well, I'm glad we're pelting them right now, because, uh, oh, blimey, these guys are... They're not kidding around, are they? No, okay. They might actually be able to straight up beat my Bastani, uh in a fight, which is... Uh, embarrassing, but what can you do? Okay, the Chosen Archer can probably handle this all by themselves, which is, again, yes, somewhat on the embarrassing side, but, I mean, to be honest, I feel like you guys should probably, at this point, consider coming down. I mean, you've done good work. Yeah, back off. Back off now. Can you guys actually come down onto the street as fast as, uh, yeah, it looks like you can uh, go from door to door because if so that'd be really bloody convenient are you guys climbing now by the way you are right war cry please i want a big war cry because that means you can start chopping them down and there we go enemy siege towers are in place no that's a little bit on the uh the slow side but hopefully it'll still be uh good enough so now you guys just start chopping them as they come in so choppy 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 chop come on there we go cut them down cut them down they are shaken. They've taken some casualties already. If we're lucky, we'll be able to do some more. These guys just chilling out right here. And, okay, these guys are taking some real damage too. But they're okay for now. They're steady for the time being. These guys are shaken, not even wavering yet. Uh, I'd like you guys to, yeah, come this way. Fast as you like, please. Fast as you like. I know we're going to lose the gate and... John, you can't lose the gate. The entire point is you can't lose the... Oh, dear. Um, okay, that's going to be interesting. I need to reclaim the gate. If these guys would like to break at some point, I would uh, I'd appreciate it, actually. Uh, how are you guys doing, by the way? Wavering. I mean, good work. If they take the gate, we've got to take it back. How are they doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wavering. 13. Wow, their morale is impressive. That is impressive right there. I mean, they've done good work here. Seven, six, and I think they're going. Okay, get over here, get over here, get over here. Leave them, leave them, leave them. Hold the gate for as long as possible. There's only 42 of you left at this point. Two! They've not, they've not broken, or rather, yeah, they've genuinely not broken at two. One, there we go. Okay, get over here, hold the gateway. Whatever it takes, hold the gate. You guys, uh, fall back to the plaza via that route, please. At the bare minimum, uh, they should take some good work. No, stay right here. Stay right here, actually, on the on the thing. Those axemen are now just taking a bit of a knock. You guys are... Have you immediately broken? Oh, they weren't even Bastana. They were Thracians. Okay, um, I may have been overestimating them in a way. Because I did think they were Bastani. I mean, honestly, for Thracians, you guys have done very well. I mean, congrats. That was a good attempt. You say that's a defeat? I call it a win. We were never going to be able to hold this city, I don't think. But 500 kills on the way. That's pretty solid. And don't forget, no way to heal those casualties. Even better. Okay, Greeks haven't committed to attacking Salona yet. But here's interesting. The Scythians have sent out an army. It appears... They're willing to give battle. Right, get my spy nice and close by. We're dealing with, uh, yeah, plenty of horse archers, a few axemen, a handful of archer warbands, one chosen warband. We know those guys are trouble. But most of this, it's the range. That's the problem. Range 120, range 120. Uh, my units, or at least my Cretans, uh, can outrange that. In terms of what they can toss at my front line... Nothing's going to be able to get by my beautiful, beautiful mercenary hoplites. I can beat them in terms of a straight-up cavalry scrap if I can get on top of them. That's a big if. Do I want to make this happen? I think... I think we can make this happen. I think we can destroy these guys right now. Just basically blast through with the Senate... I think they're going to be in a lot of trouble, actually. 
get the reinforcements into position, because why not? And then begin attacking. Then again, I'd probably... Let's see if they want to do this. And no, they're backing off. Okay. They're backing off. They know I've got the advantage here. This is... Uh, this is fascinating. And there's not much you can do to reinforce because you're stuck down over here with an army you can't repair next to... Oh, oh dear. This is going rather well, actually. Oh, here they come, though. The Greeks are coming in. They want to have a go, but... Oh, I do not fancy their chances. And the Greek fleet is trying to fight back, but no, mate, I'm so sorry. I've been dealing with bigger threats than you on the water for a long bloody time. Oh yeah, they're starting to feel it. I've taken away their naval trade, like pretty much all of it. And you need naval trade in this game, otherwise you are completely and totally 100% screwed. And I can't help but notice some of these armies are looking not as full up. As they once were, I think, I might have just basically economically crippled Greece. And that's not all we're gonna do, because I've made it back to Kedonia, and guess what's bloody regrown? It's literally everything, oh my. Now that, that's an army. Still, I do have a plan up north, which is uh, my reinforcements. They can just block up this city, because if this city is under siege, well, they can't come out and assist their friends right over here, which means, uh, buddy, me and flipping you. Let's go. Oh, he's hiding. He's hiding around the back of the bloody zone of control. Well, that's just, that's irritating. I mean, okay, I've got enough build points for one, one flipping bloody ram regardless. Okay, fine. Well, we're going in. All right. You can run away as much as you want. You're not holding on to that city. I mean, my damn south. I think if I can just break this Greek army, then none of the rest of this is going to pose a threat. Like, none. At all, actually. And come on, Doris. You have been so lucky. So lucky so many times. Just take him out. I think you failed, didn't you? Yeah, okay, fine. You know what? I guess we'll take him out the more traditional way in that case. Because, oh, buddy, you've made a mistake. No, I'm not saying I win here today. I'm not saying we drive him off. I'm just saying... I don't need to. All right. This bloody idiot has brought no range with him whatsoever. And the only cav he's got is his own bodyguard. And he's not faction leader. There's only 50 of them. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble, actually. We're just going to have some fun here. In fact, I think we'll start off by completing the work the assassin couldn't and just uh, laying down fire on the general's bodyguard. Because, yeah, we should be able to weaken him a fair bit. You see, what we're seeing here is basically the slowest, least flexible army imaginable. And they're going to try and advance with parts of it to provide, you know, little bits of cover. But that is not going to work out for them at all. If need be, I can retreat far faster than they can flipping move. So they're desperately trying to cover their own general. But what are they going to do? I don't think they're going to be able to do anything here. All they're going to do is just take damage like loads of damage actually so that guy doesn't really know where he wants to be you guys aren't 100 percent sure what's going on these are just militia hoplites right over here these guys are gonna flipping collapse just bring some uh lovely lovely guys right over here you guys are full back i don't want you guys uh getting into any trouble whatsoever actually these guys are already wavering uh in fact so you guys just uh start moving out of the way and they're gonna break good 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 so that's one unit that's just sort of been melted for free. There's an armored hoplite that is, yeah, eager, but it's just taking free shots to the back. So they're not going to be having a good time. So, okay, one unit has just been deleted for free. And now my Cretans can get straight back to, yes, their main task, which was eliminating you. Because my Cretans have still got, yeah, most of their ammunition and their general's already down to half health. So I'd say we've made a good damn start here. And now they're going to try and do precisely the same thing again. Well done. Well done, lads. I appreciate this hugely. And no one on this side on this occasion. Oh, hang on. Who's that? Okay, I'm going to be honest. They have managed to get um, a unit of hoplites onto one of my uh, generals. Which I didn't... 
I didn't realise I'd like him to not die if at all possible. Did he just stop? Okay, so he's dead. Um, I was paying a bit of attention over here. I'm going to be honest, this is a fairly wide battle line at the moment. So, okay, slight, slight issue, slight issue. But those guys have now broken. So we've kind of, you know, it, it's an eye for an eye, aside from the fact, you know, his eye was way more valuable than uh, than mine was. Uh, you're taking a huge amount of damage. Uh, you guys just uh, back off for the time being, bring in a bit more infantry. Okay, maybe you shouldn't have brought uh, my generals to the, uh, the front line. That was mildly a mistake, I'll admit. Okay, we got some armoured hoplites that have brought themselves to, yeah, the very front right now. They're looking pretty exposed to me. How's the general doing? Down to 10. Cretan's still doing a good job. And now, honestly, guys, just getting over here. These guys are now shaken. And if they're determined not to turn. Okay, now they're turning. So now all we do is turn and shoot them in the back. Honestly, just... Go into, uh, go into melee mode. That's fine. They're wavering. What else do we have over here? You guys turn and face over here. These guys are... They're bloody steady because why wouldn't they be quite... Oh, bloody hell. Armour top lights. You gotta hate armour top lights. Guys, why are you doing any of the things you're doing right now? Come on. This is not cool. Not cool, guys. Uh, okay, so... Right, this is, this is not gone entirely as as to plan as i was i was hoping for there's there's been there have been you know some more more losses than than intended how are you guys doing by the way yes just open fire on uh on all of them uh actually you guys just get inside i'm sure it's uh i'm sure it's fine we've done like you know some good work here here's some hot blights that are about to flipping die so that's good too we killed the general yet by the way i'm not going until we've killed the general all right, he's down to... There he flipping goes. Right, so now they don't have a general anymore. Good, 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 good. Turn your attention over to here, if you'd be so uh, kind. Maybe just uh, back off for the time being. And yes, watch the um, watch the front line a bit more closely than we have been doing so far. You guys were just mercenary Paltas. You just get some uh, hits in over here. Okay, we got more armoured hoplites over here, so be bloody careful because, yeah, they are going to be dicks and just refuse to die. So just uh, keep shooting them in the back. There's some more over there. Back off and a little bit more in the back, please. Just there we go. That's a good angle. That's a great angle for doing some good work to uh, these poor bastards. Any units they could recover have definitely faded by now. Nothing's going on over here. You can turn your attention over there too, now that, uh, yeah, the actual general is dead. I've not really taken that much of a loss, aside from, you know, this guy's uh, cavalry, which was unfortunate, I'll admit. When I say cavalry, I mean, like, you know, his life in general. Okay, on the right, meanwhile, there's a really incoherent unit of armoured hoplites, so... Yep, there we go. Broken. Good. Good, good, good. Even though they're armoured hoplites, we're still able to mop them up. That is a seriously hardcore unit that will not be causing trouble anymore. Alright, these are some of the most severe, experienced, well-armed and armoured units that these guys have. Alright, so honestly, just start surrounding them. Prepare for a massive six-way attack. There we go. That's moving in the right direction. And now, here we go. Every direction. Shaken. Cretans firing. Wavering. 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 Some more. And broken. Okay, that's another unit of armor top lights who are now just dead. All right, and my Cretans are finally out of ammunition. I'd say it's time for everybody to get back inside at this point. All right, do not let these bastards get away. And that is, yeah, they've lost 30% of their troops. I've only lost 10% of mine. And I'm going to therefore recover a larger percentage of my troops, not least as my general, the one who's like, you know, not dead, he's got himself some beautiful, beautiful advantages in terms of, uh, yeah, units being more likely to recover. I'm pretty sure I've got him a herbalist and a priestess of Bendis. So, yeah, that is a double units just get to come back to life who died in the fight. So, this is not as bad as it looks, aside from the dead general. He is actually proper dead, of course. 
And now we just say, well, that was fun, wasn't it? And just go back inside because, yeah, that's all we need to do. Same time tomorrow, lads, and uh, I'll have more ammunition by then. You, however, won't have regrown any armor top lights. Oh, yeah, that's not looking anywhere near as scary as it was. Ooh, the Greeks are bringing in reinforcements. They are definitely bringing in some new folks here. They've managed to magic a general out of somewhere, but I don't care. All right, I don't think they can do a thing to me at this point. By the way, I don't think you should actually be allowed to have any ports, actually. Yes, every single one of your ports, I now believe, is... Yep, they're all blockaded. You have no naval trade anymore. Very sad for you, actually. And you know what else you've got? You've got an unguarded Athens. Oh, dear. Oh, flippy dear. Now that, that's just pretty sad, actually. Oh, my. They've sent everything up here to try and deal with Salona, and now Athens has got, like, nothing guarding it at all. One extremely similar battle later, and uh, yes, they appear to have lost 40% of their troops to only 10% of mine. And I didn't even get a general killed while I was doing it, so better and better. Oh, but here's the big one, because these bastards are finally ready to give battle. Oh my. Oh flipping my. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Why do I only have 19? I feel like I could do with more units in a perfect world. Okay, just send me some, like, uh, Bastani. That's fine. Ooh, and we've got plenty of high ground to play with. All right, nice little slope here. That'll do. Oh, I think one of the senators might have died of old age, which is unfortunate, but what can you do, eh? Right, all we need to do now is just annihilate these guys. The key is the cavalry hits the archers, the Cretan archers take out everything else. So we got ourselves, uh, yeah, they've got the horse archers on the flanks. All right, just wait to see how they're moving here. Because yeah, I've definitely got some high ground advantage. So my Cretans can destroy anything that comes anywhere near. My Sarmatians can do a good job against all of these guys. And they're just sort of they're just sort of sending their lads uh, fairly far forward, actually. In all fairness, they're sort of drawing up a battle line uh, that's, yeah, vulnerable to me, actually. My Cretans, at least some of them have got... Yeah, they've got a shot. They 100% have a shot right now. One of my lads is just uh, firing at the moment on all of these bastards, which is good, uh, which is really good, uh, actually. I feel like I should just uh, ignore their horse archers and just go... Uh, Straight down the middle. Because my Cretans are currently just, uh, yeah, they're doing good work. They're doing some good stuff, taking all this out. Honestly, I don't care about you in the slightest. Just, you know, skirmish, fall back, whatever. Most of this is in the center. Should I just send some cavalry thundering up the center? Possibly. Possibly I should. Then just, yeah, toss some stuff over to here. They're going to take a bit of damage. They're going to be shaken and whatnot. You guys just uh, fall back if the opportunity presents itself. You're on skirmish mode. So, you know, feel free to... Uh... Oh, they immediately broke. Oh, I love it. Uh, where are the horse archers? So far, they've not really managed to do anything to me. Summer archers might be doing some light taps. But, yeah, these Illyrians are kind of working very effectively as just idiot magnets right now. They're just drawing the fire and I don't really care. They're the most easily replaceable of all of my troops. So archers, there's the chosen archers. They're dangerous. They're very dangerous actually. Wouldn't mind just hitting some of these guys. Okay, you guys are just sort of uh, hanging out right over here. Scythian or horse archers uh, right over there as well. Do want to send some uh, heavy cap just thundering in. To be honest, I feel like for the time being, I'm just gaining huge amounts of free damage, like for nothing. So I don't see why I should really advance right now. My Cretans are just taking this army apart. The only thing that's a problem is the Chosen Archer Warband. And yeah, their center is just, it's not really there anymore, to be honest. It's just being knackered. And my Illyrians are doing an excellent job just, you know, standing there, taking it. Well done, lads. Every second that goes by, they're just losing troops. All right, they're just losing troops every single flipping moment. And they don't have an approach. They've got no way of flipping getting to me. They just don't know how, which I love. Okay, we're going to take a bit of a punt here. 
I'm going to toss some heavy cavalry. Oh, there's a bit of movement. Bit of movement here. Archer Warband. Those guys are still at full strength. I'm just going to advance with, yeah, the Sarmatians and one unit of Senate. Yeah, they don't particularly care one way or the other. Just go for these archers right over here while my Cretans continue laying down the fire on the center. These guys should, yeah, not be happy about that. And maybe if I can get on the horse archers, though, with heavy cavities, not likely. We'll give it a go. Just see if we can maybe get them around over here, around over here, around over here, around over here. And come on. Just path through them to stop them from... There we go. I got one. I got one right there. There we go. We've pulled this lot into a fight. Now, Sarmatians ought to win this. There we go. There's break. Which means the next one should break as well. That is... Oh, they're out of here. Oh, you poor, stupid losers. Uh, right, everybody just... Basically, head for the center. All right. I want my cavalry wrapping them up. All right. This is a good opportunity to do some huge, huge damage to all of their units. There we go. Those archers break at once. Now, the morale of chosen archers is really high, but they're winded and they do have breaking units nearby to them. They're being hit in the back by cavalry wavering already. That's the single most valuable unit on the field, to be honest. And it's gone. It's flipping gone. Right. This is... Oh, this is exactly what I want to see. I mean, how much have I lost? 2% of my units. And I'm probably just going to regrow them straight back. I have lost 30 men. They have lost about 2,000. Yeah, I think the army's working. Oh, they've done it. They've pulled away from Salona. They have acknowledged they can't win. Because at this point, I've taken away the entirety of their trade income. And I'm just landing armies left, right, and center, and there's nothing they could do. I'm just trashing at any attempt that they're making to break the blockade. They were looking dominant just a few turns ago, and now they're just crawling away because they know there's nothing they can bloody do. And up north, the Scythians are finally running out of steam. There's a handful of troops here, but again, they've got no answer whatsoever to long-range archers. Another member of the Senate has passed away of old age, by the way, because he did not die in that battle. At least I don't think he did. He might have done, but I don't think he did. I think they're just dying of old age, but we're left with the younger ones now, so it's fine. So, horse archers coming in from that side, my main army coming in from this side. So, as soon as they start arriving, I suspect things will be going uh, very much in my favour actually. Yes, yes, here we go. That's, uh, that's looking very good already. Everybody around the outskirts, please uh, crack open the gate. We've got ourselves a uh, archer war band right over here. That's fine. You guys just provide uh, a little bit of cover. Admittedly, if they actually set this thing on fire, that could be a bit of a concern. So, uh, nope, they're actually not smart enough to be, uh, trying to do that, even though that's literally their, uh, their only chance, but whatever, I suppose. And those cav archers are going to be a bit annoying, but it's too late. The gate's about to go down, and once it goes down, that's it. They can't stop me just pretty much walking in, to be honest. So, you guys just uh, get in over here. Everybody else just start uh, firing on anything you've got a shot at. I don't really care at this point, because the main army is on its way. Okay, now time for a bit of fun, which is I've just sent in these Sarmatians, uh, pretty much just to uh, draw the fire. And uh, as everyone decided to run forward to react to that, now I can just start picking apart everything. And I mean literally everything with my Cretans, because screw you, you stupid losers. Alright, Cretans have done a lot of laying down fire, and they've pretty much killed... Uh, everything broadly there's just a handful of horse archers left so let's just send in you know what's left of the senate because seriously the poor senators become depleted over time dead trying to help dacia retake the homeland from scythia which is just a wonderful end for them as far as i'm concerned and now there's nothing left but a handful of horse archers and uh, a few axemen in the distance. So, okay. Bring up the slingers. Uh, bring the slingers up, please. We're not charging on to flipping plazas. I'm not that much of a fool. Even if it is the Senate, all right? I'm not throwing them away for no reason. And this here would appear to be the last Scythian. Oh, my. And with that, the Dacian homeland has started to fall back into our possession. 
Now, did they set up any form of uh, heathen religion? Yes, yes, they did. Sorry, that's got to go. We're going to have to replace that with, you know, our own heathen religion. A superior, better one. And, oh my goodness, they built flipping training facilities. Dear oh flipping dear. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, and now Scythia's come begging for peace. No, not yet. There's one thing we need to get yet. Because step one, the Greeks may not be able to take our cities, but we can most certainly take theirs. Yes, screw it. I'm just auto-resolving that one. That's fine. All right, I probably couldn't have done much better, given there were uh, walls involved. So Athens now gets itself burnt to the ground, and all of its stuff has to get itself burnt down at two. Because, you know, sooner or later they might well be... Uh, taking that back. So no, 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 none of that whatsoever. And also you're worshipping a Hermes in Athens. That's just, that's just a no right there. Because now, not only do I have an army where I have uh, many skirmishers uh, and Cretans uh, and a general, I've also got, you know, massive walls. And I could just walk straight on to, uh, oh, Corinth is basically unguarded. Uh, Sparta is, uh, yeah, they've started breaking down their armies. They are bankrupt. They've had to break down their armies because I just blockaded every single one of their bloody ports. I love it. I am willing to pay for peace. All right, Greece. I am willing to give you a lot of money if you'll just shut the flip up and leave me alone. Okay, they won't go for it, but just out of interest, Apollonia right here is... Oh, that's a bargain. Flipping bargain. Okay, so I now own Apollonia... I've got no troops in it, admittedly. What we can do is... Well, that is interesting. I don't actually want to keep Apollonia in the slightest. I just don't really want the Greeks to have it. So, I mean, if I just wanted to mess with... Ooh. This is of interest. Scythia, how would you like to just have Apollonia for no good reason? Regretfully, we oh, tragically, no. I was kind of hoping I could just screw up some borders there. So that's not really going to uh, going to fly. Well, you know what? It's only 16 grand. It's not like I really needed that money for anything. It was just kind of weighing down my treasury. Oh, we're getting somewhere now. They're all begging for peace. Thrace just wants this to be over. And to be honest, I'm fine with that. Thrace, I'm pretty oh, much thanks. done with. So, uh, how about me and you start trading as well? Marvellous. And just update the map information. And proposal. there we go. Lovely. Job done. We've got some peace. And I'd say, how about we just, uh, sit back and enjoy this one? Because it turns out our former capital, having been once taken over, once abandoned, is now... It's garrisoned by a single unit of dogs. Lovely. Because once upon a time it was us sitting up on this plaza. Well, you know, a giant Scythian horde just sort of decided to show up. But no, 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 no. Now, now we're back. And I have brought, well, not really like necessarily the best army. But like, I've brought a really exotic army. Comes from all over the bloody place, actually. Though some of it is, in my defense, local lads. Like the Scythian mercs. They are locals. I've just kind of brought them to their home at long flipping last. And now you guys are just going to be... Oh, that's nice. You're actually carrying tiny bits of uh, fire for some reason. Do they think it's a night battle? I don't know. But yes, we're just sort of uh, setting them on fire, which is lovely. They might be about to uh, release the hounds into these lovely, lovely lads. Yes, they're releasing the hounds into... Into a corner, actually. There's... Oh, no. Oh no, not again. Not the infinite hound bug. Oh no. Oh no, the hounds are... They want to get to, um, yeah, the archers. There we go. Some of them have figured it out. And the rest have just sort of immediately broken in the face of me. And so this is how it ends as the thumbnail foretold. With a giant never-ending swarm of Cretan archers who can just murder anything because Cretan archers are just the bloody best. And there goes the captain. The dogs, meanwhile, they shall be spared, for they are good dogs. As indeed are all dogs. And with that, having taken... Okay, we might have injured some of our own with our uh, fire arrows. But they didn't do any damage to us. That's the important thing. We've retaken the homeland. Unfortunately, we are going to need to exterminate it. Because, you know, what? it's been in Scythian hands for a while, anybody here could be a Scythian spy. So, I'm sorry, lads. 
You're all going down. There we go. That's better. They better not have built any. They've built production facilities here as well. What a bunch of bastards. Not many though, I'll give them. And how about 20,000 denarii for a ceasefire? Sure, My Scythian sure. friends. Yes. Oh, they're not keen yet. Okay, that's fine. I got more money than that. This is not a problem. How about 30,000 denarii? A most generous and there we flipping go. I have got peace with my ancient enemies, the Scythians. Great. And they want to trade proposal. with me. Spectacular. That's just a update some a map information. Good. Good, good, good. They don't want to be allies, though. Though, to be honest, I could just bribe anybody to do anything at this point. I've just got so much money coming in. I can just basically tell anyone I want to to... Go away, work for me, be my friend, stop waging war on me. I can just basically buy anything I want. But I would say, ladies and gentlemen, I think with the homeland reclaimed and the entirety of Italy conquered, the great labour is now complete. I think we're going to be uh, ending things off there for this playthrough. Because sure, I could paint the entire map a completely horrible, ugly shade of brown, but I feel like at this point, we've got it under control. All right. Greece cannot do a thing to us. We've crippled their economy. Yeah, they're tossing whatever they've got left to Athens, but we've broken tougher armies than that with weaker armies on our side and with much less good walls. There's no way in hell they're getting in to Athens. And I can just bribe all their towns one by one. I just need some diplomats around. I've got peace with Thrace. I've got peace with Scythia. I'm trading happily with them. Gaul is screwed. They can't get to me. There's nothing they can do. So... Yeah, I feel like there's not really a viable threat left on the map because Carthage and Numidia keep punching each other in the face. I don't really know what's going on in the east, but I will say, yeah, Pontus appears to be doing pretty bloody well, all things considered. In fact, you know what? As this is the end, let's find out because the old console command still works, so I can just turn off the fog of war. And there we go. Suddenly, everything opens up, so... Okay, let's see who was doing how during this game. So yeah, Spain had a pretty good game. They unified Spain. They started expanding out of it. They've seized, uh, yeah, four different towns uh, dotted about. Though mysteriously, they've just sort of uh, left this one, which is all a bit peculiar. Britain never bothered going to uh, take care of Ireland, which is quite frankly just out of character. And Germany is doing pretty solidly. They never actually attacked me, which was, again, very, very welcome. I appreciate Germany not attacking me. Other than that, yeah, it was uh, Armenia, Pontus, and Egypt who were the big winners. Though you've got to say, Egypt has uh, the lion's share of uh, all the good stuff in the world. Then again, despite having the best territory, Pontus has put together some big-ass armies. Hang on, were they actually at war with each other? Yes, Pontus was at war with Egypt, understandably. So, okay, they were moving in right now. Honestly, I don't really see much of an answer. So, Pontus might have just been able to walk straight through Antioch, down the coast, taking... A huge amount of territory. Other than that, pretty standard game. I say standard game. A standard game in the sense that Dacia decided to flee from its homeland, then expand towards Rome, get attacked by Rome. I would just like to remind everyone of that. I didn't start the fight with Rome. They attacked me. The Scipiones started this. Okay, not me, them. But uh, yeah, as a result of that, they're now all dead. I now just mainly live in Italy. But, you know, just for nostalgia's sake, I felt like expanding back towards the homeland. So I've still got my starting territory. I've got all of Italy. Rome's dead. And honestly, I do not see an opposition on the map. Where if I was just to put together some more armies, I could very easily go and deal with Thrace if I wanted to. Scythia, I could, yeah, pick up uh, Bylazora. Greece does not have legs at this point. I could finish off Greece. So yeah, I feel like at this point we've managed to prove beyond reasonable doubt you can beat Rome Total War with just mercenaries. I think we've done very, very well indeed. But all good things must come to an end. Especially as, as good a remaster as this is, it's not the only remaster in the world, is it? Because, yes indeed, any moment now, ladies and gentlemen, Mass Effect Remastered, the legendary edition, is coming out. And Mass Effect 1 is one of my favourite games of all time, and that's the one that's had the most polish put on it. So, uh, starting very, very soon indeed, Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. That'll be taking this slot on Monday and Friday, though we might kick it off a little bit sooner than that, depending on when I can get my hands on the game. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I'm Opie Johnson. There's been many a true nerd. And this has been Rome to the War Remastered. Thank you very much, and goodbye.
<laughs> this this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then oh, in come the chariots! Yeah. 